Hi everyone, I'm Klaus, the Dungeon Noob's Guide. I'm the guide, not the noob. Don't know why people think that, but <laughs> sometimes I just want to have fun. I was going to come in here and I was going to be like, you know, instead of teaching, I'd really like it if I could. I'm going to do what I want. And if you don't want to see it, videos like this, they'll have my actual face instead of this cool little avatar guy. If you see the actual face and you don't want to see these more candid, normal videos, just avoid this. I was recently reminded of something that got a lot of people, probably not, into Dungeons and Dragons back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean the year I was born, the Dungeons and Dragons mu musical? <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons cartoon came out and it was, and I have not tried to sit and watch it since I saw it as like a six or seven year old kid. And so I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a reaction to the first episode of that show. And maybe more if this works out. This may never get edited and no one might see it except maybe my patrons. <laughs> yeah. My patrons. I'll do a song for you later. Let's watch this show. Hey, look! A Dungeons and Dragons ride! Yeah! Wow, neat! Give me a break. What is happening? Oh, where are we? Look out! Hold on a goddamn second. This is going a mile a minute. Hey, here's a Dungeons and Dragons ride. Whoa! A unicorn! Here's TM! This is... This is... Fear not, ranger, barbarian, magician, thief, Cavalier and acrobat. <laughs> Barbarian, magician, acrobat. <laughs> it sounds like the dungeon master ran out of classes. <laughs> Was what edition of D&D were they on? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So this would be advanced Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that was the intro. We're not, we're not gonna do an introduction episode. You don't get to see how Uncle Ben dies. Come on, Uni. That's, uh, that's Frank Welker, I think. Is that the name? Oh, I'm gonna get it wrong. Yeah, Uni, Frank Welker. If you've ever heard an animal that makes sounds out really happy I'm gonna put that on the internet for other people to judge. Frank Welker, um, who aside from making goofy little animal voices, has also been the voice of Megatron. <laughs> Starscream! I can't do a Megatron. What a Neko! What a Neko! What a Neko! What a Neko, what a Neko wafer! Sheila, can't you do something about your little brother? Sheila, who is this wet blanket? The Cavalier! I hate him. He's bothering me. I'm trying to think of a way to get us out of this freaky place and back home. If there is a way home. Don't worry, there is, and we'll find it. <laughs> mm. That's that, that 80s children's voice acting that I just... Mm. Tiamat the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Look there, the dragon god from hell. What? I know Tiamat is a bigger thing nowadays in D&D. &D. Uh, back in the day, there were certain things that weren't as big a deal. I mean, a Tarrasque used to look like this. <laughs> uh, there's Tiamat the dragon. Also, they just know the name. I guess they know about Dungeons and Dragons, so they have meta knowledge. Hmm. Uh, it's too bad that this is just advanced D and D. If a little bit further, we could have heard some kids talking about Thacko. Leave her to me, Bobby. Don't. You're gonna TPK us. So they trap Tiamat in a cave, and the dungeon master appears. How do we get out of this world? Patience, Cavalier. All things have a purpose, including your presence here. Huh. I gotta admit, the Dungeon Master is a real donk. He's a real piece of work. The players are frustrated with him. 
10 out of 10. DM tells the kids to head to a village that used to be plagued by dragons until they were magicked away, and they better look out for Venger, the main bad guy who's big into Scooby-Doo villain disguises. You shall know his newest face by his white hair. Okay, are there not going to be old people? Would you like some hard candies, kid? Arrow. Acrobat. The man said go north. We, we should, should go, go north. Hmm. Different era. The kids walk and complain about being hungry, and presto makes a cow. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna starve. According to this, we're somewhere near Merlin's castle. Ah, the 80s, when if someone was magic, they were a Merlin. Should be right here. I don't get it. I do. We forgot to look up. Wow! He lives in a castle in the sky? Face it, Uni. As a wizard, I'm no whiz. Oh. You know, it made a sad sound, but it looked pretty happy. Like, it was like, yeah, no sh- oh. I'll come back for you. I promise. Oh. Oh, thank oh. God. No offense, Frank, you're, mm, you're wonderful. I cannot listen to that for 20 whole minutes. <laughs> My folks have a place just like this in the mountains. Wish I was there. Sometimes we wish you were there too, Eric. <laughs> Fuck uh, off, Eric. Drawbridge is up. Drawbridge is up. This looks like my department. I've got magic arrows. I can summon things. I've got super strength. And what can you do? I can jump over moderate gaps. What brings you here? Well, we're headed for the town of Helix. Look, he has white hair. The one thing I cannot do is grow hair. You and me both, Merle. You seek a way back to your birth world. Come. Many great spells have been cast in the... Put the rabbit down. Oh, it's the rabbit. The land of Helix fought back against one who would conquer them. The defeated conqueror Vowed vengeance. Dungeon Master told us this already. This is some pretty shoddy DMing. A great story there, you know, but I didn't come to listen to fairy tales. Now, if you're not going to help us get home, I'm leaving. Listen up, you old piece of crap. I don't want to hear about fairy tales in this magic world that I've been sent to. Hey, I'm walking in. <gasps> I, I'm second thought. <laughs> they just open a door and it's just like, ah, oh, another Tiamat. Like Kimmy Gibblers come through the door. Steve Urkel's just burst in. And it's just like, man, did I do that? Quickly, we must leave. There's no way out. What about down there? The dungeon. So the kids trick Tiamat again and make it fall into the dungeon. Dungeon and dragon. Close enough. Here's your rabbit. Thank you, my child. But it's not a rabbit. It's a hare. A white hare. All right, so you don't need to spell it out for me. It's a hare. A white hare. A one to teach my secrets to. One like this one. That one? Me? Indeed. Bad call, Merle. I can teach you all my magic, but only if you stay here for the rest of your life. <laughs> I just, I lived a whole life in a floating castle, and now you get to. I say we shove off for that Helix place, huh? Eric, we have to wait for Presto. Presto would never leave us. Farewell. <laughs> Presto would never leave us. See it, dumbasses. He totally would. I can't believe it. It's our fault, you know. <laughs> what is that one? <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. So Merlin tells Presto to stir some soup and don't stop, and he immediately stops and finds the return us home spell, but oops, it's the bring back all the dragons spell. Merlin? So I had to trick you into undoing Merlin's spell. But you're Merlin, aren't you? Merlin hasn't lived for a thousand years. For you know me as Ven. Oh no! Oh! 
That's Peter Cullen. You would know him best as Eeyore. Also, Optimus Prime. Wait. Oh, my God. The unicorn <laughs> is Frank Welker, the voice of Megatron. Peter Cullen is the bad guy who's the voice of Optimus Prime. Are you Samuel James Whitwicky? Optimus! Destroy the town of Helix. The anniversary of the last time the dragons attacked is now our greatest holiday. We were sent here to find a clue to help us get home. I can see great wealth in your future. At least we got to meet Merlin on the way. How could you? Merlin died a thousand years ago. I saw them! The dragons are in Merlin! His hair! His, His white, white hair! Beat you to it, dummies. This is not the worst of it. The legend says the final assault will come soon and our town will be completely destroyed. Wait, <laughs> your town was saved and you have celebrations, but then you're just like, oh, the legend says that we're pretty much screwed. So we have this celebration <laughs> to celebrate how screwed we are. Presto! Hank! Am I glad to see you? You've got to cast Merlin's spell again. Me? I'm no Merlin. And you will not cast another spell tonight. They even have the audio effect that makes him sound kind of robotic. I know they're going for, like, evil. When did Transformers come out? This came out in 83. Is this, is this what led to him being Optimus Prime? This amazing role as... Venger? Use your club! Whatever you say, Hank! That won't hold him long. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. We've got to put out these torches. Let me give it a try. She's like Captain America. She can jump. She can throw things. Acrobat. You cannot escape. <laughs> Wait. I know where Merlin's spell book is. Presto and I will make a run for it while you four try and keep him busy. This had better be one terrific idea. I hope Eric dies. Uh, remember the one thing that Bender's afraid of? Tiamat the dragon! <laughs> Tiamat the dragon! 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 Sam Woodwicky. I don't believe this. I will add your magic to mine and then destroy It's over, Prime. Stay away from me, dragon! I shall win in the end! That was a lovely sound of I just Okay, here goes nothing. You did it, Presto! I did! Merlin's whole castle is floating oh. away! Bye! Lose this, wizard? And that's pretty much it. The kids save the town. The dungeon master uh, jerks him around a little bit. Uh, Eric has to ride a cow. I, I mean, all in all, it was corny as hell and super 80s, and I absolutely loved it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please, if you want to see me do more of these videos or other D&D-related videos or tabletop-related, whatever, you know, uh, comment down below, let me know what I should watch or if I should just watch this whole series. I, I really want to <laughs> join my Patreon. You'll get to hear me do uh, you, you. You could be sung about in my patron song like. It's my patron song. It's my patron song. These are my patrons. It's my favorite. Acrobat!